Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's regular the quick video. Well, it's Friday. We're going to do another video. Again, we've had this tradition. I think this might be four, four weeks four in a row. Weeks in four a row. or five weeks in a row, yeah. Um, I injured my foot, so I'm sort of limited to where we can go eat. And so <laughs> we gotta flick the, we've we been going to the same place every week. So, uh, And I don't mind it. I'm, I'm a creature of habit, and so like so is Brandon. So we uh, we uh, been hanging out on Fridays, grabbing dinner, and just kind of uh, hanging out for a little while. Get myself out of the house for a little bit. So this week we're going to uh, review a uh, another sample that, uh, provided by Brandon again. It's the newest one, I believe it's the newest one anyway, from the house of Amouage. Uh, it's Be Beach Hut, Eau de Parfum. Man, this is the men's one. Yeah, oh, oh it's, there's a women's one too? Yeah. Sorry for the, I don't know if that's too bright for you guys, but um, here it is there. It's a little bright, I guess, but. All right, so uh, give me the information on it. All right, so Beach Hut, <clears throat> released in 2017, woody aromatic. Uh, the notes are mint, orange, mint, orange blossom, galbanum. Middle notes vetiver, moss, and ivy. Base notes myrrh, patchouli, and woody notes. Here is the decant or the sample. The big sample. Yeah, that is a giant sample, actually. I do like your sample, that's for sure. Oh, there is actually a newer uh, um, wash, Imitation Man. Imitation Man, okay. Yeah. What are the notes you think are going to stand? I didn't even hear you, what you said. But what are the notes that are going to stand out in this one, you think? Well, I tried it already. Oh, you already tried it. So this, yeah. is a this is a blind sample for me, actually. I want to see what you get out of it. Right. I know what I got out of it, but... Okay. Well, I have a strip here. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a couple sprays. Now, Jubilation Man is the only one I really like from the house. There's a couple that are okay, but they're usually like... I'm not a huge fan a, of A little house. too... Like Sunshine Man, I didn't like. That was too citrusy and orangey. It was very sharp. It's kind of a mess, actually, but we'll see. All right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what is that? It's it's very green. Very green. Super green, almost a little soapy. Kind of reminds me of something from the house of, uh, like, the was it uh, Aqua de Parma? Colonia, yeah. that kind of style. That soapy green. It's getting a little minty, almost like basil or, or, or mint in this. There's mint. There's mint? Yep. Yeah, it's like fresh mint. Yeah. It's like the kind of, like when you, you know, the, the chef people pop Muddle it in their hands. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Somebody described this, and it. I got this when I smelled it. Some, you're walking down a beach, not like a luxurious beach, like a local's beach, mm -hmm. and there's like a rotted out, abandoned shack, wood shack, right there. That's what it smells like. Hmm. It's very uh, <laughs> weird like description. It's very beachy, but it's not like, oh, luxurious vacation beach. This is like basil. Not basil. I keep saying basil. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, mint, like fresh mint balm. There's a lot of mint, yeah. With some soapiness. Uh, what, is there, what citruses are in this? Uh, let's see. I want to say mojito, but it's not like. There's no citruses. Really? Orange, orange blossom, that's not mm, really a citrus. Nah, that's not citrus at all. And a lot of green. Yeah, it's the green, green and the this. mint. If this was had like some bergamot or something in it, it would be like a mojito. Yeah. I'm getting a ton of mint. This is fresh though. I like it. I don't know how much it is. I just think after a while, I don't know if it changes or develops or how much it does. I think after a while if it stays like this though, because a lot of theirs tend to, st tend to stay pretty linear, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they're pretty linear. I thought it was linear. Like after a while, I think I might get tired of this smell though. It's almost a little piney too. Definitely green. When I first sprayed it on, I didn't like it. I thought it was okay, but then I had it on my hand the whole night, and I just kept smelling. I was like, this smells really good. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those ones that I think if you get wafts of here and there, you might like. It's really it's, the only on wash that I like. I don't really care for that house at all. Yeah. But. It's green. It's clean. It's fresh. Can't really say it's a, it's offensive. No. The only thing I can think of problem I maybe I'll find is that you might get tired of it after a while but then again who knows like I mean but this is after you've bought like a $300 bottle or however yeah. much it is you know I think it's pretty unique for like that kind of fresh beachy scent mm -hmm. I don't think I've smelled anything that resembles this I mean I guess I can see yeah it's not so much like beach as in like suntan lotion no, that no. kind of because usually yeah. that's like virgin on water a lot of those beach scents kind of uh, no, not smell like, like that, that. No. this is like yeah seriously like if you like you're in the forest part of a beach yeah you like know. an abandoned island yeah with like green <laughs> as you can see behind us if you guys can picture all the all the green stuff behind us walking up on a beach kind of setting yeah this isn't bad um uh, yeah i don't know how much it costs it's like probably a hundred mil bottle probably the same as i know uh alan sells it for 200 okay so beverly hills perfumery we don't work for them but he's a good friend of ours i buy way too much from that guy 
Yeah, two hundred. That's not a bad price. I mean, you could probably sell something else out of your collection and make up for it. I don't know. I might pull the trigger on this, and we'll see. Not bad. I'm getting a lot of. Like, is there pine in this or like d fur? Something. Uh, I'm getting like a strong pine note now. Pine needles or like vetiver, moss, and ivy. Those are green. Probably ivy in the patchouli? moss, maybe. No, but is like a little dirtier and I didn't dark. Get patchouli from this. Ivy. I've never seen that in a fur mm. before. Yeah. See, now it's kind of taking like a. Almost like a Christmassy kind of piney smell. The but second most popular note on here is ivy. Mm, so probably the ivy then. And then mint is number one. Yeah. Good combo. All right, guys. So that is Beach Hut uh, for men. I'm going to watch the men's version. Sorry if you guys can't see that. I'm trying to like... There you go. Darken it up a little bit for you guys. Looks like a wood shack. Yeah, a little wood shack there. Here's the back of the sample. Here's the bottle. Let me guys know. Uh, let, me, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this one. If you've tried it already, uh, you know, yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say, I like it. yeah, definitely worth a try. It's different, you know. And who knows how much it'll develop? Maybe I should. I'll take a spray, uh, put a spray in my hand or something like that. And maybe see how it develops here in a little bit. But uh, all right, guys, so you guys follow Brandon on YouTube and Instagram. Our fragrance. You guys can follow me on Instagram as well. Dollars and cents, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know uh, what's your scent of the day. Uh, we're Elysium today. We're Elysium, okay. Which I, I'm I don't, considering getting rid of. Really, yeah, I don't like Elysium. It's, <laughs> it smells like body odor to me. One of those sour fragrances. I am wearing, I believe it's called jo Jose, Josu, from the house of uh, uh, Daniel Josier. That's probably why I can't remember the name. Oh. Like Josun or something. That's the one I was I've never tried about. any of his stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's a unisex fragrance. Kind of leans a bit feminine, but uh, I like it a lot. So um, yeah, we'll see how that one goes. But all right, guys, so the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.